welcome to the topic harmonic traveling waves phase velocity and dispersion so what is a wave we have seen different kinds of waves transverse wave like this oceanic waves waves in a pool and the longitudinal waves like this in a spring and this kinds of standing waves in a string we have generated in our lab so what is a wave so wave is propagation of energy through a medium or vacuum it's a good definition it is not an exact definition but we can say that wave is propagation of energy through a medium or vacuum waves produced by a driving force that is coupled to an open medium is called traveling wave means if the wave is entering to an open medium or to an open space then it is called traveling waves means the wave will travel indefinitely through the medium or through the vacuum or through the open space what is the speciality of the traveling wave the traveling wave can carry may carry energy and momentum through the medium or vacuum if the driving force oscillates with harmonic motion then the wave is called harmonic wave for example here this one this is the source or this is the driving force so this is oscillating with the harmonic motion so that the wave is called again a harmonic wave now we will see the wave representation and properties in one dimensional case the harmonic traveling wave propagating in z direction produced by a driving force with displacement d of t will be like this this d of t will be like this psi of 0 t is equal to a cos omega t so this d of t is again equated as the wave function at z is equal to 0 that is the wave function means this wave displacement this oscillation at z is equal to 0 so this wave generated here is propagated through the medium or through the vacuum so the wave function at any point z at any point z at any point z at time t can be written like this psi of 0 t prime that is a cos omega t prime where this t prime will be a cos omega t minus z minus v that is displacement at z at time t is same as the displacement at z is equal to 0 at a previous time t prime which is equal to t minus z minus v means displacement at z at the time t will be equal to displacement at this zero point previously t minus z minus v time or the wave travels z distance by the time z by v so 
So this is the psi of zt, the wave equation, the wave function psi of zt is equal to a cos omega t minus omega into t minus z minus v. So expanding this bracket we can write this psi of zt as a cos omega t minus omega into z minus v where this omega by v this omega by v is written as k called wave number so that the psi of zt becomes a cos omega t minus kz so the wave function psi of zt is equal to a cos omega t minus kz can also be written as a cos kz minus omega t in reverse manner both are equivalent and both have the same meaning both represents a wave propagating in positive z direction with a velocity v is equal to omega by k since k is equal to omega by v v is equal to omega by k where omega is the angular velocity t is time and k is the wave number and a is the amplitude means the maximum displacement or maximum oscillation the argument of this cosine is called the phase that is kz minus omega t kz minus omega t is called phase of the wave now we will see what is meant by the phase velocity a traveling wave travels with constant velocity as long as the properties of the medium remains constant this velocity is called phase velocity so we have the velocity equation v phi is equal to omega by k where this v phi represents the phase velocity which is equal to omega by k where omega is the angular frequency 2 pi nu or 2 pi f and k is 2 pi by lambda the wave number so substituting this omega and k here 2 pi nu by 2 pi by lambda that is the general wave relation this 2 pi is get cancelled so this nu into lambda or v is equal to nu into lambda or f lambda so v is equal to f lambda which is the common relation for a wave so the phase velocity dz by dt can be obtained from setting the phase as a constant for the traveling wave that is the phase means the argument of the cosine that is kz minus omega t so setting this as a constant setting the taking the differential of this constant value we will get zero that is differential of this kz minus omega t will give k into dz minus omega into dt only when if this k and omega are constants then the omega by k will be dz by dt that is dz by dt is equal to omega by k the, which is the phase velocity so we found that the velocity of a traveling wave remains constant as long as the property remains constant now what happens when the property of the system changes then the velocity does not remain a constant property instead it depends on k that is it depends on lambda or the velocity is a function of k it depends on k 
or omega by k that is omega where this omega depends on this k values so for a traveling composite wave in free space composite wave means a superposition of different wavelengths or k values so it changes its shape when enters a medium with different properties like splitting of colors in visible light when it enter a prism since different wavelength components travel with different speeds in other words different frequency components becomes dispersed when they enter a medium with different properties so this is the dispersion so dispersive waves are sinusoidal waves for which the phase velocity v of k varies with lambda or wave number k when this velocity v of k is independent of lambda or wave number k this is called non dispersive so the waves are called non dispersive